Chapter six, the way of all goldfish. The first task of the day was to finish unloading the moving truck so their mother could return it. Each time Joel went to get a box, he tried to pick one that was labeled basement so he could check on Ernst and May. But Mrs. Popper wasn't playing along. We should save the basement boxes for the end, kids. That's the last priority. Start with the bedroom stuff so we can get this house feeling like a home. If only she knew, Nina said under her breath as she dragged a floor lamp through the front door, passing right under the old Penguin Pavilion sign. Joel put his hands on his hips and looked around the moving truck. Mom, where'd you wind up putting the goldfish? Winkles and Jeffrey, she said, wiping her brow. I think it might have been the basement. Joel nearly dropped the box he was holding. You put them in the basement? He ran out of the truck and into the house. Nina, the goldfish are in the basement. So what, Nina said. Then she saw Joel's horrified expression. Oh, the basement. They threw open the door and ran down the steps. They were just in time to see the goldfish's tails disappear down the penguin's open beaks. One in each. Slurp, slurp, ork, ork. The chicks waddled forward and back, turning in circles and raising their little wings, clearly pleased with themselves. Nina stood open-mouthed. Goodbye, Winkles. Joel put his arm around her shoulders. Goodbye, Jeffrey. Emboldened, May hopped up onto the first step and then the second. Ernst looked at May in wonderment then tried to hop onto the first step. It didn't go nearly as well. He hit the step mid-belly and then fell back to the floor, astonished. Ork, ork, he cried. Joel rushed to cradle him. While Nina played defense, positioning her feet along a step to prevent May from jumping any higher, looking just like a soccer goalie trying to block a shot. May may have only been a few hours old, but she was already clever. She waddled left on her step and then took a surprise waddle to the right before jumping, skirting right by Nina. Then May was up and out of the basement door and into the rest of the house. Oh no, oh no, Nina cried as she scrambled after the fast moving chick. The baby penguin was already in the kitchen, pecking at the corner of a cardboard moving box. Then Nina caught up to her. She scooped up the cuddly little chick. You have to stay in the basement, naughty May. Nina heard a loud gasp. She turned and nearly dropped the trick, the chick in surprise. There, mouth open in a wide O of astonishment, was Mrs. Popper.